with Yvonne and welcome to Having You On. It's time for another edition of In The Crib and today's topic is cleaning a thrift store baby doll. Did I find a reborn at a thrift store today? <laughs> Who did I happen to see? Well, I knew as soon as I saw her what type of doll she was. I don't know what sculpt she is, but here she is. She's Lee Middleton, and she's in rough shape. I'm going to give her some tender, loving care, and you get to see her transformation. So let's examine her. Well, I found her on the floor of the thrift store, so somebody had already gotten to her and was playing with her. Yeah. And so she was already on the floor and she's already gotten dirty and you can see on her face that's going to be hard to remove but I'm gonna give it a shot and uh, her hand is dirty over here her body is dirty her other cheek is dirty there and her hurts her little foot over here and it's just a little bit of dirty here and on the bottom of this foot it actually has some ink and that's going to be a challenge. And so here we go. <laughs> you get to see her step by step. And of course, I'm going to wash her hair. She has um, lots of hair, which is nice. I'm sure it's a wig. Yeah, it is a wig. And I'm going to give it a good washing. And But she does have a sweet face. And here we go. <laughs> get to see her step by step. So come along. Here we go. Here she is after her first bath with some Dawn dishwater. All I did is simply clean her face and her, her vinyl and she's doing much better. Surprisingly, a lot of the dirt came off. I'm sure she was in great shape when she arrived at the thrift store. This is just after she arrived, she was played with. Unfortunately, the um, dolls are played with once they get to the thrift store as the entertainment for the kids while their parents shop and so some of the some of the dollies get used before they're sold, and so, unfortunately, so she got cleaned up, and I did get that dark spot off of her cheek, and you can still see just a little bit left of there, and I'm going to try to get some more of it off. She still has that mark on the bottom of her foot. I'll have to get that off, but I did get the other one off on the other foot, and it came right off, and so she's getting cleaned up. And I can't wait to see her completely cleaned up. Here we go. Here she is again after I've washed and conditioned her hair. I worked a little bit more on the spot on her cheeks some more and I was able to lighten it even more. I will continue to work on it a little bit more as well on her foot. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do for her. What foot. I'm going to apply to remove ink from her is a acne cream this is a one that I got from CVS but the active ingredient that you need is called benzyl peroxide the acne cream needs to have benzyl peroxide to remove ink from the vinyl it doesn't remove the color from the vinyl it only removes the ink so I'm going to apply that to her foot as well as her cheek because I can just have the little faint can you see that just a little bit of blue still right there on her cheek just a little bit of blue can't quite get all that blue out so I'm going to apply a little bit to her cheek leave it on a day take it off wipe it off and then reapply it and continue to reapply it until it completely there fades she away. is with the acne cream applied it's just going to stay on for a day or so and then I'll wipe it off and then check it and see if it's faded and then reapply it and the reason I'm going to reapply it, it seems to work a little bit better uh, when I keep reapplying new material of the acne cream so that's what I'm going to do until it completely fades away One thing I couldn't share with you was the body had a strange musky smell and even though I sealed the doll in a bag with some dryer sheets, I couldn't get the smell away. So I took out the stuffing and disposed of the stuffing and now I'm soaking the body in some soap, some dish soap and I'm hoping to remove this musky smell. It smells like it's been in, a, in an attic or 
some storage. It got a little musty. I just don't like the smell. I'm just trying to remove it completely. And then I'm gonna refill it with some new fluff. And that should make it good as new. Upon taking the doll completely apart, I also noticed the limbs had that same odor. So I took the opportunity to completely wash the limbs again. And I was careful not to get the inside wet. And I didn't want any water inside the limbs, but I will let them dry all the way and along with the body. And I will put all new fresh materials inside, nice and fresh, and we'll have a nice new clean doll. How that acne cream was working. And here's the bottom of the foot I wanted to share with you again. And it is faded to a light green now, and it will continue to fade until it completely disappears. I just wanted to show you the progress of the acne cream, and I will show you her face, and you'll be very surprised. As you can see, that dark spot on her face is completely gone. Now I have the body dried. I dried it outside on the line. And I've added new zip ties and I'm ready to put the body together with new fluff. Inside for weight were these poly mesh bags with poly pellets and I washed them and dried them and now I'm going to use them back inside. They have no odor to them now and fresh and clean and perfect. I have her back together. I'm about to cut her zip ties, but I put a little bit more of the acne cream on that. Here's foot. her little tootsies. <laughs> and I can't even remember which one had ink on it. I think it was this one on the side. And I did put the acne cream on her foot one more time and I placed her out in direct sun. I did protect her face though, covered her face and just let the acne cream bake in the sun and it seemed to work a little bit quicker and there she has no ink on her feet <laughs> and I want to get her dressed and share her with you. Here we go. I know it's hard to believe that this is the thrift store Lee Milton that I found all cleaned up and she looks so fresh and new again and she definitely smells a whole lot different. I wish you, I wish you could smell her. She smells all new again and I just enjoyed sharing her with you and the process it took to get her to where she is now. I'm so glad I found her, rescued her from the floor of the thrift store. <laughs> I'm Yvonne, thanks for watching, having you on. Take care everyone, please subscribe for more. That's all for now. The Reborn Feel Good Channel.